Jon Varvatos has a few unique fragrances in his collection and in this video right here right now I am going to show you some of my favorite men's fragrances from this house. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm a fragrance nerd who, according to everyone around me, knows a thing or two about great fragrances. So I would love to have you around so that I can show you some of my favorite ones. So make sure you hit that subscribe and that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I think it's time that we check out some of my favorite Jon Varvatos men's fragrances. My first favorite from the house of Jon Varvatos is Artisan Pure. Uh, this has been a summer favorite of mine for quite some time. Uh, and this is pretty much as fresh, um, white and summery as it looks. Uh, it has, it's basically a citrus bomb uh, with four, yep, four different kinds of citruses uh, together with aromatics on a base of musk and amber. It's light, bright and oh so fresh. Uh, I just love the feeling that this gives me when I put it on. Uh, it just feels so, so fresh. Uh, and it's, uh, there's a reason why this is one of my favorite summer fragrances. Uh, I love using it when it gets warm outside and the chances are if I'm going on a beach vacation uh, that I bring this one with me. The performance is actually quite good uh, as opposed to most other uh, John Varvatos fragrances. Uh, this one actually lasts quite a bit for it being a freshie. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's a really good thing. Um, if you like citrus and if you want a fragrance, a summer freshie that basically screams shorts, sneakers and a white shirt, then you owe it to yourself to check this one out. Um, I highly recommend it. Now, if you don't enjoy citrus, then you should probably stay away because this is basically a citrus bomb. Uh, but otherwise, I highly recommend this one uh, and I suggest that you check it out. Next up is Jon Varvatos Artisan. So I think the best way I can describe this one is that it's a less intense version uh, of uh, Artisan Pure. Uh, this has less citrus, but it is citrus in it. Uh, and the citrus is also less intense than Artisan Pure. It also has a slight uh, floral touch to it. Uh, and it is quite intimate uh, as opposed to uh, Artisan Pure, which is quite loud for a summer freshie. I usually go for Artisan Pure when it's warm outside, uh, but sometimes I want something that is a bit more intimate. I still want that citrusy, uh, summery, fresh kind of feeling, but I do want something that sits closer to me. Uh, there are actually situations where I want an intimate uh, kind of fragrance. Uh, this one is fresh, it's nice, but it is intimate. So as long as you know about that, don't, don't buy this one and expect it to go beast mode. Uh, don't expect it to have a massive sillage because it, it doesn't. Uh, but if you want something that smells fresh, nice, with citrus, a hint of florals to it, uh, and that sits close to your body, then this is a really good one. Next up is Jon Varvatos Vintage. This is another one from Jon Varvatos that I feel is uh, really unique. Uh, and I actually don't have anything quite like it in my collection. To me, Vintage is a really nice blend that focuses on tobacco, rhubarb, suede and a bunch of woody notes. I think it's cool, it's really unique uh, and I enjoy it. Uh, I gotta give you guys a heads up though and that is that it seems that it's mostly uh, more mature women who enjoy this on men. 
uh, the feedback I've received from younger women is that they feel that this is sort of an old manish and uh, like a gentleman kind of fragrance. Uh, so yeah, that's like uh, information that I feel that you should know about. Don't expect a sugary, sweet and modern kind of scent here because it's not. Uh, think more of something that is more uh, sort of a not old school, but sort of a old school vibe that is classic, uh, more gentleman kind of scent. Um, I wish, I wish uh, just like many of uh, John Lovato's uh, uh, fragrances that the performance would be better but it's not it becomes a skin scent way too soon uh, but to be honest it's fairly cheap so i'm not going to complain about that uh, if you don't mind that sort of a classic kind of vibe uh, and if you want a scent that most people are most likely going to think is more for a mature man uh, then I can highly recommend you to try this one out. Next up is Jon Varvatos Dark Rebel Rider. Take a look at that bottle. I think it's really cool with the leather. Uh, yeah, it's, it looks great. Um, this is sort of a, the less famous brother uh, of the Dark Rebel one. So this is Dark Rebel Rider, not Dark Rebel. Uh, and I think that's a shame because this is actually pretty cool. And every time I put my nose to it, I'm reminded of how cool it is. While Dark Rebel has that smoky, boozy and leathery blend, uh, I feel that uh, Dark Rebel Rider is sort of a more focused on the leather. To me, Dark Rebel is a slightly smoky, slightly woody, leathery scent with a hint of sweetness in it. And it also has a sort of a powdery touch to it that I really, really enjoy. If you are crazy about leather fragrances that I am, if you truly enjoy the scent of leather, uh, then I can highly recommend this one. The performance is not good, like most of the Yon Varvatos uh, fragrances. Uh, but I mean, for the money, I think it's a steal. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I just got to remember to use it more often, but one reason that I don't use this as uh, often uh, or any of the um, uh, Jon Varvatos fragrances except the, the summary ones is basically because the performance is not good enough. Um, but I mean, you can always carry an atomizer with you. Either way, if you enjoy uh, leather fragrances, and can find this for a pretty uh, cheap price tag, then I highly recommend you to try it out. Uh, so yeah, that was a Dark Rebel Rider. Last but not least, it's time for my favorite one from the house of Jon Varvatos, and that is the Dark Rebel. Now look at that bottle. What do you think? What do you say? Is it cool? Uh, I think it is. Um, I mean, I just loved this from my first sniff and I had to get it straight away. Uh, it has, to me, a cool machismo kind of vibe to it. Uh, it uh, I mean, the first times, the, probably the first year uh, that I used it, it gave me this sort of a rebellious vibe, like a badass kind of uh, scent. And nowadays, I just feel that it's a beautiful, beautiful composition. It is without a doubt a truly unique composition. No one can deny that. This is such a multi-layered and nuanced fragrance where leather, rum, tobacco and woody notes take center stage. But there's also an insanely sexy, sweet, sugar cane note that drives people crazy and that note is so so addictive to me i'm i'm completely obsessed with that note uh so yeah i guess you could say that this is like a smoky leathery tobacco-y uh, woody kind of uh, uh, blend um and it has a sweet side definitely has has a sweet side to it 
Uh, it's just a masterpiece. Women love it on me. Uh, but I mean, I just wish that it would be a bit stronger. I would definitely use this way, way more often than I currently do if it would be a bit stronger. Now, I always carry an atomizer with me when I am using this one, but still, I mean, this would have been uh, simply mind blowing if it would have been a bit stronger. When it comes to compliments and reactions, this is without a doubt. Uh, the top one from Jon Varvatos together with Artist and Pure, but I do feel that this one has a slight edge when it comes to compliments. Most women seem to en really enjoy it. Uh, but like I said, I, I think I would have received a ton more compliments if it would have been a bit stronger. Uh, but hey, that's just Jon Varvatos for you. Uh, but anyway, I love it if the notes are, if the note sounds sound intriguing to you, then I highly recommend you to check it out. So that was five of my favorite fragrances from the house of Jon Varvatos. Uh, if you haven't tried them out, then I really re recommend you to do so. Uh, I mean, Dark Rebel, amazing. I just love that one. I love that boozy, that sweet, that leathery, that smoky touch that it brings. Dark Rebel Rider, come on, it's like a cheap, a leather fragrance is not my favorite leather fragrance, uh, but for the money, it's really, really good. The two artisans, especially Artisan Pure, is mm, mm, mm. Uh, when it's summertime. I, I mean, you're gonna love it if you love citrus. Uh, and Vintage is sort of a, the odd one of these, uh, but there's something about Vintage that just smells so good to me. Now, like I said, not every uh, woman is going to enjoy that one on you. Uh, so sort of a buyer beware. But if you love sort of a unique, cool scent, uh, then yeah, make sure you check it out. Now, the sad thing about pretty much all of these, except Artisan Pure, uh, is that the performance overall for John Varvatos fragrances is not that good. Uh, so don't expect any one of these to be beast mode or anything, anything like that. Uh, but sort of on the other side is that they are not that expensive and uh, quite a few of these end up on sales from time to time. So I'm not sort of going to complain too much about that. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, with some of my favorite ones from the house of Jono Lovatos. If you did, then I would highly appreciate if you would smash that like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.